Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. Today, I want to unbox my That Witch Sookie doll from Integrity Toys. See how gorgeous she is? She is so awesome that I actually think I'm gonna make a diorama for her first before I unbox her so that I can take good pictures. For the background of the doll diorama, I'm going to use this tri-fold foam board that is not going to be attached to the floor. That way I can fold it up and store it easily. I like this multicolored scrapbook paper for the background, and this comes from this Dream Chaser paper pad. Using a glue stick, I've glued it to the center panel. For the side panels, I chose this piece of scrapbook paper also from the Dream Chaser collection because I think it nicely complements that middle panel. To cover up the white bottoms, I picked this scrapbook paper. I like it because it reminds me of watercolor wood and I used a glue stick to glue those to the bottoms of the panel as well. For the floor, I attached wood grain patterned duct tape to a piece of cardboard, and what I can do is just prop up the diorama background on the floor, and it'll give me a nice place to take pictures. To dress up the space, I'm going to use this piece of paper printed to look like carpet, this couch, this bookshelf with some candles and lavender in a vase, and from Etsy, I purchased this really awesome set. It came with runes and a crystal, some tarot cards and a candle, and what looks like a moon phase chart, and also this crystal ball, which is super cool, and an LED light that you can put underneath and turn on. Let's see if it works. Uh-oh, I don't think I see a difference. It's probably because it's too bright in here. I thought this little tree made of semi-precious stones would look nice in the corner. I decorated the bookshelf with the crystal and the runes. There's even a chart of all the runes. I don't know what that bottom chart is. If anyone knows what that is, please explain it to me. I need a little table, so I took four doll pins and painted them black. Then I hot glued them all together to be a little bit more sturdy. For the tabletop, I'm going to use one of these geode coasters. I like it because it looks like a slab of amethyst, and I hot glued that to the post. As a final touch, I want to make a little psychic reading sign, and this was my inspiration. I'm going to use this little mini chalkboard and some chalkboard markers, and I drew a crystal ball, and I just started copying the sign, and ta-da, that's my final sign. And now I'm gonna put some glue dots on the back of it and secure it to the wall. And now it's attached, yay! What a nice little doll diorama for a psychic reader, right? Let's get back to unboxing Sookie. Here's her certificate of authenticity. I can't wait to get her out. She comes with a very cute backpack, which looks like it has bat wings and a box of accessories which contains some jewelry, an extra pair of hands, and some really awesome boots. Like other Integrity Toys dolls, Sookie is fastened into the box with these ribbons. In fact, maybe I should just turn the box over and undo them from there. Ooh, I like her doll stand. It says legendary from last year's convention. Okay, I've got her out of the box. She's wearing her hairnet, a great t-shirt that says that witch, it's probably the reason I bought this doll. And her hands are still covered in plastic. One of them has a tag on it that says the industry. And she has this really cool multi-layered skirt that is asymmetrical in length. Wow, that's awesome. And her knees still look like they are tied up in plastic, so we'll have to release that. And this is just to give you a look at her from behind. I pulled off her hairnet, and you can see that she's wearing pigtails that are very, very styled and wavy. And she has a beautiful face with very light gray eyeshadow and a very light pink lips. And her eyes are looking off to her left. I think I'm going to save this the industry tag. It's pretty cool. Her extra pair of hands comes with extra long black nails. Maybe she needs those for when she's casting spells or something. Let's look at her jewelry. Looks like she has a pair of earrings, a necklace, a ring, and a cuff. I have put her earrings in. Thankfully, they had pre-made ear holes. 
Here's her chunky cuff around her wrist. I did have to remove her hand. And here's a look at her wing. It is a very awesome looking skull. And her necklace has a real fastener. And the pendant is a lock, which I think is amazing. Let's get a closer look at these boots. Oh no, they're lace up boots. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have such problems. I'm really bad at putting these highly intricate doll shoes on. As I was unlacing her boots, I realized that there's a piece that comes off and attaches via a magnetic fastener. But when you get her foot in, it doesn't fasten again. At this point, I had one boot on and I seriously considered just leaving her like that because who needs both boots on? And then the magnetic fastener fell off. So I basically unlaced both boots, put her feet in, relace them, reattach the magnetic fasteners, and now they look amazing. But I'll never take them off again because it's not worth it. This Batwing backpack is one of the best accessories I have ever seen come with a doll. It has a zipper that actually works, and it is so cute. Look at it on her. Honestly, she reminds me of Draculaura if Draculaura were to emerge from Monster High and come into the real world. And now I get to pose her in her awesome new Psychic Reader doll diorama and take some cool pictures of her. I can even do a skit with her. Hello there, I saw your sign. Could I have a reading, please? Of course. Here, have a seat next to me. Very well. Ooh, fancy boots. I like yours, too. All right, then. Let's see how good you are. What kind of reading would you like? Tarot? Runes? Crystal ball? Let it be your choice. Tarot, then. The cards never lie. So I've put down a five-card spread. <gasps> What is it? Don't keep me in suspense. I've just never seen all five cards be major arcana. What does that mean? Is that bad? It's not bad, just rare. You see, this one in the center is the lovers. It means that you're faced with a difficult choice.